Now, here's the Beta Marine BD3 tug engine that we're uh, about to sell. The, uh, the engine is going to be removed and we'll be fitting a Kelvin K1 uh, in, uh, in the next few weeks or months. Mm. Uh, haven't decided who's going to fit it yet. Uh, anyway, there's the engine. I'll go and walk past. Then we'll start the engine. Actually, before I do that, I'll just lift the dipstick. Yep, the devil looks good. A bit clumsy because I'm doing it one handed and filming at the same time. I'm going to go right round the engine. There's the PRM D160 gearbox or transmission. Side, the exhaust manifold, alternator, oil filter, etc. And there's the exhaust system exiting through the roof over there. That's it. Now I'll go backwards through the boatman's cabin without falling over, hopefully. This is not easy. done it. Now, <laughs> this engine hasn't been started for about a month, so I hope it does start. There are no preheaters, nothing. I'll just show you the instrument panel. There we are. So, push the stop button back in. <laughs> and I'll turn the key now. There we are, ignition on. Turn off. And first go. Oil pressure. Oil pressure shows zero because the uh, the alternator hasn't uh, hasn't energised yet. So I'll just rev the engine up a bit. Anyway, there. There's oil pressure to take over. I'll stop the engine again. And you can watch the oil pressure re-establish itself on starting a second time. There is a warning buzzer to tell you when the ignition's on, but I've disconnected it because I hate it. The wires are there, just need joining together again. Pressure. There. Get back to the engine. A little bit of transmission drag. And now I'll engage forward. Then a stern. So, I'm just going forward again. And there she is sticking over. That's the end.